Hey, uh, there is something I did forgot. There is actually quite some stuff I forgot. Um, this is not even about uh, this here, about this kind of stuff. That, oh, this is this is exceptionally exceptional garbage. Um, I'm gonna put it this way. Well, one thing I'm going to say like this, uh, the first thing that I want to do is I actually want to clarify what I mentioned to you that some people involved in MT Ultra, such as Prince Harry, have actually even uh, depicted themselves as a mentally ill during MK Ultra. This is if this isn't if this isn't mentally ill, then I don't actually know. I don't I don't understand what possibly could be. But I saw the news here today. Uh, where it says that King Charles had a brutal jokes on his son Harry uh, about not being his dad. And you can get this right article. I'm going to post one also below. You can read this stuff. Uh, but uh, Prince Harry, whom I have a knowledge is mentally ill uh, because of this uh, sort of kind of jokes, uh, came up with Truly, uh, they are very good friends with his major here, Major James Hewitt. He was a very nice guy, this guy, Major James Hewitt. Now, I don't have a bad opinion about this guy. The bad opinion I have are British royals. They just swined with issues like this, but I'm going to just end with this here. Uh, on the day he was born, the current king celebrated the wonderful news by telling Diana, now you have given me a hair and a spear. My work is done. Uh, and this is basically what Prince Harry's life summarizes to one single fucking sentence that Prince Harry repeated and repeated and repeated and repeated uh, so long that it didn't make me sense even in a situation in which I was drugged up and tortured, mistreated like this, with so many obviously problems on my mind, knowing that if I would start to stress these issues about, obviously, man, you are fucking entitled and you're born, born into crown. You have absolutely everything in the world. And in front of you is the guy who didn't do a single thing in his life the right way and you acknowledge yourself in front of me as a spear is a little bit sick mentally ill but i think this was the plan and it just had to be the way i think it was a part of the swinery anyways uh the second issue i want to discuss about is what Psychiatrist Peter Kopp stated me is just one more last thing I'm gonna do. Oh, uh, my diet during MK Ultra was enforced through chips and through the chocolates. I wouldn't want to have nothing to do with it. Uh, but mother kept bringing home to the degree that I would even go to the store and buy myself. At one point, latest invention of what should definitely kill me, according to. Psychiatrist Peter Kopsch and the news like this I have way too plenty. First time in my life, based on my memory, I have tasted walnut that tasted bitter. And it's bitter with a reason because it's covered with a fucking mold. My mother brought today one from the store. Uh, interesting, I was asking my mommy to buy a walnut due to omega 3 for at least one year now. Uh, chocolate. Chocolate was not on the horizon very, very, very long time. And it's also along with the bitter walnut. It's also a beautiful chocolate like this. 
and a big size, some of which is already missing, but this time I'm really not the one with a hazelnuts, 300 grams, 270 grams chocolate my mommy purchased, and it was also next to I don't know, some other issue. Oh, my mommy also prepared some of this. Um, the eggs are good, and this is a good start, except not the one that is 12 hours waiting right out. Oh, and with the pizza, my mommy also bought at the same time a pizza yesterday she brought home it was a pizza i went to pick her up it was a pizza it was the chocolate this milk of chocolate and the walnut which i only tasted two pieces three pieces i tasted uh and three of them tasted bitter and i asked my mom uh, i said to my mom mom i am this is this tastes uh, bitter uh, and I look on the internet, and if you look at the internet, it tells you <coughs> hey, hey, hey. Uh, if you look at the internet, clearly when the walnuts taste bitter, and I never tasted in my life bitter walnut. In my lifetime, I have not tasted a bitter walnut, I repeat. Uh, it's like this. To remove the bitterness, it is rancid, don't eat it. Bitter, it is rancid, don't eat it. All right, I don't know, my friends, whether rancid is worse. Rancid is a poison, uh, or is it moldy? From tannins is found on a paper thin skin that covers the walnut. The bitterness is a perfect counterpart of sweet notes. All right, that was not properly spelled. Uh, the answer is here. Usually walnuts are only bitter if they are not properly ripe or if they are moldy. Okay. Uh, moldy walnuts and with the cancer combination if you already have one it works like a charm it works like a charm man uh, liver cancer your liver cancer risk 60 times Mo moldy nuts and core increases your liver cancer 60 times if a hepatitis B I don't have a hepatitis B, but I do have a problem with the liver, I know, and with the kidneys. So this is this is really psychiatrist Peter Kapsch. Really, they, they tested this stuff. All right, these are from Croatia, these walnuts. They had these walnuts already before. They had them also on sale like this. Uh, one year, there would be no walnuts. I was asking my mom to buy walnuts. When it comes to the chocolates, as psychiatrist Peter Kapsch explained me even, he wanted to protect himself. He protected himself. Uh, when you taste the chocolates, it's like you reset the computer completely. So if you add normal, neutral food, you get used to it. That's when the chocolate comes on your menu. Because you're going to have a problem with the sleep. You're not going to be sleeping. You're going to be in pain pain in the back uh, associated either with a heart or I don't know a liver I have no idea uh, they were not generous enough to give me information about that and uh, actually too generous because it, they, they inflamed the whole thing on to 50 lies about it yeah um, if I would go it would be a whole a lot of news already like this I feel it's 
they did enormous damage to me. Uh, but if I would go and post the whole thing, it would be very few readers, I think, that would stay on this blog. Uh, so it resets the computer uh, and because for some magic reason, and it could be cysts on my kidney, liver, I have no idea, coffee, any amount of coffee would result in explosion of pain in my back. Uh, that being said, um, the chocolate will be like an extremely, extremely welcome form of um, release, relief, I would say, is taste-wise, yeah, due to stress, due to problems, due to psychological abuse ongoing, uh, it would be extremely welcome. Uh, and so every time that you're going to start eating normal food, it would be a chocolate. And it goes, chocolate and the walnut, and it's a perfect combination for which psychiatrist Peter Kopsch and my mommy, who delivered this on the plate, uh, as soon is going to work like a magic, like the last trick in the line of treats. So that being said, that's all I got to say. A pizza, it started with a pizza. The first thing was pizza. My mom brought a pizza today. Ch pizza, chocolate, and walnut. The three things I got today. Yeah. Uh, the pizza I skipped. Uh, the meal that you see here is extremely appealing to everybody. In Slovenia, we say postano, you know. It's actually really, really nice with a tomato inside, with, a, uh, with onions, and then, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. When you see this, you jump on it, yeah? But I don't think that would be a good idea with my problems, with my health problems. And so, you see, a psychiatrist, Peter Kopsch, in the, for the last thing, I only do that. Yeah. Well, for the last thing, is going to have to wait a little bit more. Thanks for watching this video. Why not take a date and time? And we're going to title this as a part number two. The brain cancer is a bad motherfucker.